today it is going to be a lot of fun playing with trigonometric functions. In this tutorial, I'm going to prove all these 10 solid statements. And I am also going to make them based on chapters. So if there is anyone you, you wish to skip, you can go directly into the description below and click on your desired expiration. So without wasting much time, I'm going to start with the very first one. So we want to show that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. From the left hand side, you have this expression. We want to prove that it is equal to the right hand side. So we are going to transform the expressions in terms of sine and cos. So we know that tan x is going to be sine over cos. Sine x over cos x plus one. This is our numerator, divide by. The denominator also is tan x sine over cos minus one. If you express one in terms of cos x, it's going to be cos x divided by cos x, having the same denominator, so we have a single denominator. Uh, which is cos x. On the numerator, we have sine x plus cos x. Divide by the same thing here, we are going to have sine x minus cos x divide by cos x. To change division sign into multiplication, we are going to take the reciprocal of this. So we have sine x plus cos x divided by cos x times cos x divided by sine x minus cos cos x. Cos x cancel cos x, so we have This divided by this, which is sine x plus cos x divided by sine x minus cos x, which is just the same with the right hand side, hence proof. So we are moving to the next one, which is question number two. From the left hand side, tan squared x is going to be sine squared x divided by cos squared x divided by secant x is the same thing as 1 over cos minus 1. So this is what we have from the left hand side. This is equal to sine squared x over cos squared x divided by we are going to express this in terms of cost, so we have cost over cost. So we end up having 1 minus cost x over cost cost x. We take the reciprocal of this in order to have multiplication instead of division. Sine squared x over cost squared x times cost x divided by 1 minus cos cos x. We move to the other side. From trigonometric identity, you know that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Therefore, sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. 1 minus cos squared x over cos squared x times cos x over 1 minus cos x. This is what we have. This is difference of two squares, which can be written as 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos, cos x. Divide by cos squared x times cos x over 1 minus cos cos x. 1 minus cos x 
will take care of 1 minus cos x. Cos x will take care of this cos squared x so that we have cos x. This one is gone, this one is gone. We only have 1 plus cos x over cos cos x. Finally, 1 over cos x is the same thing as secant x. Then cos over cos is the same thing as 1. So if you look at the right hand side, it's the same thing. We have 1 plus secant x and here we have secant x plus 1. They are commutative, so we say they are the same. Hence proved. Question number three. From the left hand side, we have cos x divided by secant x is the same thing as one over cos, cos x, minus tan x is the same thing as sine x over cos, cos x. This is the same thing as cos x divided by um, 1 minus sine x because they have common denominator over cos cos x. We take the reciprocal of this to, to get multiplication here. Cos x times cos x divided by 1 minus sine sine x. This time this is cos squared x. This is cos squared x over 1 minus sine sine x, which is the same thing with the right hand side, hence proof. We move to the question number four. Question number four, from the left hand side, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, which is one over sine squared x, plus the reciprocal of cos, which is one over cos squared x. We want to prove this is the same thing with the right hand side. So this is what we are going to have. This time this is going to be sine squared x cos squared x. On the numerator we have cos squared x plus sine squared x. From trigonometric identity you know that cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So we have 1 over sine squared x cos squared x. Meaning we are going to take the reciprocal of this time this. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant squared x. Reciprocal of cos is uh, secant squared x, which is just the same with the right hand side. Hence, prove. Question number five. From the left hand side, Cosecant x is the same thing as 1 over sine x divided by 1 over cos x plus sine over cos x. This is the same thing as 1 over sine x divided by 1 plus sine x because they have common denominator divided by cos cos x take the reciprocal of this to change this to multiplication 1 over sine x times cos x divided by 1 plus sine sine x this time this equal to cos x divided by sine times 1 is sine x sine times sine is sine squared x which is just the same with the right hand side hence proof we move to the question number six number six from the left hand side tan x is the same thing as sine x over cos cos x multiplied by sine sine x 
show that it is the same thing with that one. This is the same thing, sine times sine is sine squared x over cos x. From trigonometric identity, this is the same thing. Sine squared x is the same thing as one minus cos squared x over cos cos x. One over cos is secant x minus cos squared x divided by cos x is cos x, which is the same thing with the right hand side. Hence, prove. We move to question number seven. Question number seven from left hand side. Cotangent squared x is cos squared x over sine squared x plus this is cosecant which is one over sine squared x. The whole of this divide by one over sine squared x. They have a common denominator so we say cos squared x plus one divided by sine squared x times, you take the reciprocal of this, so we have sine squared x. This cancel this, we only have left cos squared x plus one, which is the same thing as one plus cos squared x. Question number eight. Question number eight, I'm going to start from the right hand side and prove the left hand side. So we are going to expand this first from the right hand side. First term squared is going to be tan squared x. Second term squared is going to be secant squared x. Then minus two tan x secant, secant x. All right, this is going to be sine squared x over cos squared x plus secant is one over cos squared x minus two times tan x is sine x over cos x multiply by one over cos cos x. This is the same thing as sine squared x over cos squared x plus one divided by cos squared x minus this time this time this is two sine x over this time this is cos squared x so let me come to the other side sine squared x plus one minus two sine x over cos squared x. If you factorize this, you're going to obtain one minus sine x times one minus sine sine x. Cos squared x is the same thing as one minus sine squared x and one minus sine squared x is the same thing as one plus sine x times one minus sine x, difference of squares. Therefore, this cancel this. We are left with only one minus sine x over one plus sine x, which is the same thing with the left hand side, hence proved. Then we'll move to question number nine. Question nine from the left hand side, we are going to add these two times together. Let me take the LCM by multiplying these two together which are difference of two squares. So we have one minus sine squared x, if you multiply them together. This is the same thing as one plus sine x, because if you plug this into this, you're going to obtain this, then plus. If you plug this into this, you're going to obtain this, one minus sine, sine x. This cancel this, we have only one plus one equals to two over one minus sine squared x. And one minus sine squared x is the same thing as cos squared x. So we have two, one over cos squared x. And one over cos squared x is the same thing as secant squared x. This is the same thing as two times secant 
squared x, which is the same thing as the right hand side. Then the last question, which is question number 10. Number 10 from the left hand side, cotangent squared x is the same thing as cos squared x over sine squared x minus cos squared x divided by one. The LCM is going to be sine squared x. On the numerator, we have cos squared x because if you plug this into this, you get one time this is this. Minus this into this is this time that is going to be sine squared x cos squared x. All right, now let us factorize this. Both times have cos squared x in common. So we have cos squared x in the bracket of 1 minus um, sine squared x all over sine squared x. But 1 minus sine squared x is cos squared x. So we have cos squared x times cos squared x divided by sine squared x. Now you can split them in this form. Cos squared x over sine squared x is going to be cotangent squared x times cos squared x, which is the same thing with the right hand side, hence proof. So if you like this video, kindly give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video.